All right, and we're going to set that to multi-part uh, slash form data. All right, and that'll allow us to upload file. All right, and that's that's that. Now to close the form, same syntax. We'll say uh, form close. All right, and let's see if we get any errors with this, which we do. Undefined class constant close. Oh, we need parentheses. It's a function. Okay. So let's put in a label. So to do that, we'll say form label. I don't really like the, the exclamation marks. I wish you could just use the curly braces. So this will be for name and then the readable name. All right, and then under that, we're going to want the input. So form, and this is going to be a text field. So we'll say form text name and set value is going to be equal to null. Okay, attributes. Attributes is going to equal an array. Let's put in a uh, placeholder. Gallery name. And then we also want a name. which is also going to be name. Oops, what happened? So name is name. All right, let's save that. And there we go, we have a input. Next thing is going to be the description. So we'll save some time, let's just copy this. So this will be description. Name is going to be description. Okay, so there's our name and description. Now we want the image upload. All right, so let's just copy this, paste that in, and now the label cover image, and now we're going to change text. We're going to change that to file. And let's see, all we need is the name here of cover image. All right, so that should work. Then we're going to want a submit button. Okay, so form submit. And then here, let's just say submit. And second parameter, this is going to be attributes. And I just want to give it a class. OK, we'll give it a class of button. All right, let's take a look at the form. OK, that looks good. Now, when we submit it, it's going to go to uh, gallery controller and then store. So let's go to the gallery controller. And this is where we want to be store. So first thing we want to do here is we want to get the request input. 
So let's say name. And the way we get this is by using that request variable and then input and then whatever the name of it is. In this case is name. All right, so let's copy that. Then we need the description. And uh, we need the cover image, so change that to cover image. Except we're not going to get our input, we want to get file. Okay, now the owner ID, since we don't have a login system yet, we can't set this really, so for now we're just going to set it to 1. All right, now since we're uploading an image, we want to check and see if it was uploaded. And to do that, we're just going to test for cover image. And this will also have an else. So let's just actually test to see if we can upload. So we'll say yes if there is a cover image. If not, we'll say no. All right, so let's go ahead and, and we'll also test to see if it actually submits correctly. So submit, no. If we choose a file, and just grab this, yes, okay, good. So we know it's submitting. Um, we know that we can test to see if the file is uploaded. So if it is, then we need to get the file name. So we're going to say cover image uh, file name. And I'm going to set that to cover image. And then we want get client original name. I know it's, it's long. get client original name okay and then we need to move that image to the public images folder so to do that we can say cover image and we want to call move and then in that we're going to say we want it to go to public path and then images all right, and then the second parameter is going to be the file name. And if there's not an image uploaded, then what we want is we still want a, a file name. And we're just going to set it to some kind of default. So let's say we want to set it to uh, no image dot JPEG. Then you could create whatever image you want, name it that. And whenever someone doesn't upload a gallery cover image, that'll be used. All right, so that's that. Uh, now what we need to do is actually insert into the database. All right, so in order to do that, we have to go up here real quick and just say use DB. We want to use that DB object. And then we should be able to say DB. Uh, DB table is going to be galleries and then we want to call insert and then in there we want to put all our values okay we want to put an array so name is going to be name uh, description Okay, and then we need cover image. Now this cover image, we're going to set that to the file name. So we want cover image file name. And then owner ID, we're going to set that just to owner ID.
All right. Finally, we want to load the load the view. So let's just copy that. Actually, I'm sorry, we're not going to load a view. We're going to redirect. So we want to return. Um, we can say return slash redirect route. And we want um, gallery dot index. Uh, and then we're going to also send a message along with that. So we'll say with. message and the message itself will just say gallery created now there's one thing we need to do in order to display the messages so we need to go to our main layout and let's go right above the content here and we're going to say if session has message And down here we can just say and if, uh, and then here we're going to say div class equals alert uh, alert info and then we just want to say session get message. All right, let's try this out. Oh, we just need to put this uh, at sign right there. Okay, so let's create a gallery called logos. Oops. And let's choose file and we get this Pepsi logo submit. Okay, so we're not seeing anything because this is just a st uh, hard-coded static page. Um, the only way we can tell is if it worked is if we go to the database and we go to galleries. And there it is. We have a name, description, the name of the image, and let's just make sure that it actually uploaded. So if we go to full photo gallery, public, images, there it is. All right, so that's working perfectly. In the next video, we're going, we're going to make it so that we can get the galleries and display them here.